All right, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I am going to be giving you guys the best builds for each class in the final. So we're going to be starting with the light class, and I've got two builds that I'm going to be showing you guys for each class. So we're going to start with my normal build, the one that I would usually run when I'm playing light, and then I'll show you guys a good secondary build as well. So starting off with the first build, I usually like to run cloaking device. I know a lot of people have said that it's been too nerfed and isn't good, but honestly, I think it's really good. So I still use cloaking device. The LH1, definitely the best light weapon by far. It does take a lot of skill, but if you can master this weapon, you'll definitely be getting tons of kills. Next up, glitch grenade for the first gadget. This is, you know, obviously really good for ranked and world tour because of all the double heavy players so glitch grenades probably a must the gateway is super good for traveling the vault from wherever it spawns to the cash out as well as just movement as well since you're not running dash you won't have as much like vertical movement so the gateway can help you you know scale buildings as well as quickly get out of all sorts of situations Next up, the stun gun. This stun gun has been nerfed quite a bit, but I think it's still extremely good, especially for denying the cash out at the last second. Usually, like if you're a good light player and the cash out's, you know, towards the end of its uh, duration, you'll want to stay near the cash out in Viz and just wait for them to start stealing. And at that point, if you just stun gun the guy that steals, they immediately lose the cash out. So. That is that for the main loadout. For the reserves, I'll bring the XP-54, definitely the second best light gun. Honestly, like maybe my favorite gun in the game. This is an extremely good weapon. Then the sonars, the sonars are, I think actually super underrated. The sonars are really good because info is king. So if you know where people are, it's gonna be pretty easy to take them out. Just remember the recon meta. Thermal vision. Personally, I don't like thermal vision that much, but I know it's extremely good, especially for the current uh, ranked game mode, terminal attack. Uh, thermal vision is really good. Uh, personally, though, I don't normally run this. And then frag grenades as well. Uh, frag grenades, not much to say about them. They're just really good. So let's see the second build for the light class now. This is going to be a dash build. And for that, I'm going to use the XP-54 and we're going to be running glitches gateway and stun gun again for the reserve though instead of running the lh1 in the reserve i'm actually going to bring the shotgun and throwing knives because these two weapons with the dash are actually really really good and then i'll also bring the vanishing bomb and the sonar nades so this allows me to play an invis build still if i would like to if i want to swap out the the glitch grenades whatever it may be both the reserves are the reserves for all these classes it gives you guys options to basically play different play styles so if you see something in the reserve this could easily replace anything here for the most part moving on to the medium this is what i am usually running i call it like the gunner medium the entry frag medium so no heal beam i'm running the dmat f car i it's it's i don't think it's the best medium weapon in terms of like damage that would probably be the model but for overall consistency and just being able to kill people at range the f car is in my opinion like the best medium gun then the defibs of course got to run the defibs jump pad and frag grenades and then for the reserve honestly for medium there's not many gadgets that you're gonna need to run in reserve so the only the only gadget that i have here is just the aps and then for the rest of them is weapons. So the AKM, the FAMAS, the model. I think these are the other three best medium weapons right now. So that's the like entry frag medium. But for more of like a meta, like actual like ranked meta, uh, like season two ranked meta uh, medium class and more of like a healer, obviously run the heal beam. I'm still using the F car. You could swap this out for like the model or the FAMAS. Um, but personally, I like the F car, like I said, still got to run the defibrillator. And then for this, I'm running double movement. So if you guys are playing with in like in a three stack and you're running two mediums on your team, one of you guys can run jump pad. The other one can run zip line. 
and then you could swap this out for anything in the reserve so like an APS uh, frag nades whatever you want to do yeah that's the medium class so finally heavy this is the loadout that I use primarily when I play heavy uh, the SA-12 this thing is still an absolute beast so I use that dome shield as well honestly Kind of a must pick the dome shield is just extremely good rpg also a must pick doing 140 damage to multiple players invaluable and the c4 as well the c4 is actually i think kind of underrated ever since it got nerfed and you can only throw one c4 i basically see no like average skilled players running the c4 instead they're running like other things which which can be fine but the c4 is actually still extremely good for like setting traps and you do get bonus damage when you hit it with the RPG uh, because it stacks. So I think the C4 is a little bit underrated. And uh, definitely should try it. Also, I don't know if I... I forget if I mentioned it, but I'm also running Mesh Shield for the specialization. Um, just super meta. For the secondary or the reserve, um, I'm running the Lewis gun for my second weapon. And my third weapon is the KS-23. And then barricade and anti-grav the barricades are just extremely good if you're trying to play for survivability play on the cash out anti-grav cube this is something that takes some like actual skill i think but if you can if you can actually like master throwing the anti-grav cube like at your opponents this thing could be really good especially indoors um it's also good for like blocking off like staircases um just making like overall like movement really difficult so if you're a good player, you could take advantage of this and it could actually be pretty good. Uh, personally though, like I'd prefer to run like C4 instead. As for the second heavy build, also mesh shield, Lewis gun, dome shield, RPG, and this time the barricade. This is more of like a, like kind of a bunker build. You can sit on the rooftops with the barricades, use the Lewis gun to do damage at range. Uh, you've got the mesh shield as well. So you're basically just invulnerable. Especially if you've got a medium healer. For the reserve, I'm running the anti-grav cube, of course, the C4. And then, depending on the map and the certain modifiers, you might want to pull out the SA-12 instead of the Lewis gun. Especially if a lot of the cash outs are going to be inside. Because then you can kind of take advantage of the barricades. Um, so I've got that in the reserve. And then, as well as the KS-23. Just because this thing is actually like kind of insane it, it does like 100 damage a shot it, it's actually kind of ridiculous yeah that is it for the best builds in the finals in my opinion hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did consider subscribing for more daily finals content and enjoy the rest of the video usual sight lines are blocked out there today as our virtual architects have decided to elevate the middle of our arena making it a true high rise the shock and awe spring into action. Unlocking Vault 2. Our Just teams have here. made their presence known as we've got our very first elimination of the match. Warm up is definitely over. I hope they didn't forget to stretch. Shock and awe, grab the cash box. Frag grenade set. Center swooped up a cash box. The jet centers are about to take off. Cash out started.
jet setters reap the rewards. A new vault. The shock and horror back in action. Steal by none other than the shock and awe. The jet setters have commenced a cash out. The overdogs will need to reboot. Team White. Deploying jump pad. Contestants are just a few steps away from fame. Only if they can stroll past there. all the hazards in this arena. It's not easy, that's for sure. Money may not grow on trees, but a new ball just appeared in the arena. Our contestants will be able to take out there. Another Another minute to go. Relocating. Running a battle. The Overdog's got hold of a cash box. Seconds. Which team will try it?
lights on it, two lights on it. That fucking double, double stun. It's a straight up playing field for this round. Enemy spot, down there. Socialites are dazzling the crowd. They're opening vault two.
Oh my god. Nah. Better. Well, folks, the jet setters are the team to beat as we soar in. Frag out. That's our first elimination. Our contestants clearly mean business today, Scotty. This is what it's all about, partner. Couldn't agree more, Scotty. <laughs> Holy shit.
the Jet Setters. From all of us here at the finals, thanks for watching.